Hello guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, in today's video, we're going to look at how to um, find the total shortages. Um, after change of command, and you have your um, shortages both class um, for class two. So this is the total shortages for just class two, right? For class nine. Um, if you are the one, if let's say you are the supply sergeant that did it in the system, then it's going to be easy for you to do it. If you are the one who created the PM01 or the, at the maintenance side, that means you can, you as a supply sergeant, you can do that. So if you want to be able to do that, to know the total shortages for both class 9 and class 2, I advise you, the supply sergeant, do it yourself. Do both class 9 and class 2. All you have to do is to create a PM01 for yourself. Uh, I'll do a video on how to do that very soon. Um, so if you want to know the total shortages, you do both your class 9 and class 2. But this in today's video, we're just going to do the total shortages for just class 2. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's get into it. So we're going to use a T code called the IWBK. Uh, um, the one that I learned this from, call it I want beggar king to, to be easy for you to remember. So he says I want beggar king. And also you can use the Zeus menu to go there. It's under uh, component management. Um, then you click on um, IWBK. So, uh, so on the screen, what you need is you need to make sure the in processing and outstanding are checked. Also, PB01 is put in the um, it's put in the order type. And as you saw, you saw PB01 or PM01. That means I do both my PB01 and PM01 because I don't want to go back and forth trying to figure out how um, my class nine shortages trying to figure out how much it is. So I do both of them and I know how I would label it so it becomes easy for me to sort them out so that I can get to know the, uh, the total amount. So let's go on. Then you go to the main work center, then you put in your UIC. Then you click. So here right now, all these are um, work orders that hasn't been released yet or put on immediately and has not been released yet. So when you see this on your screen, don't be alarmed. It means you haven't released it yet. When you see work orders like this, work order numbers, it means you haven't released it in the system yet. So let's go. So this is the IWBK screen. As you can see, availability list for materials for operation. So I will personally do a video to explain all the columns, right? So that it becomes easy. But today we're just going to look at um, the status column because I'm going to use it to do my um, analysis. So basically this is an analysis, but it takes a long, a long time to fully understand the whole concept. So uh, with this, with this status, the red means um, you put something on order and it's not in yet. That means it has been either funded. Yep. So let's take it has been funded and it's not in yet. So we haven't received that at SSA yet. So all these, the ones in red are what I need for now. So. And when, when, when the time comes for me to explain this green, green means three things, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a lot, lot, a lot of time. So what I'm going to do today is to explain, uh, to use these two to get my uh, total shortages. So all items that has been ordered, right? That are, 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 are on order is what I want. They are on order and they have, we haven't received it yet. That's what I want. So I'm going to um, basically set filter. Let's continue. I'm going to set filter to all reds. So you select the column, select the whole column, then you hit the filter button, then select the red, telling the system I want all items that hasn't been that has been released but not yet received on the SSA yet. So when I say at the SSA, it doesn't mean me receiving it from the SSA, but I mean it hasn't yet come from the vendors to the SSA. So here, when, when I have all the reds, 
quantity availability, quantity withdrawn will be explained when, when I'm doing a video for how to how to consume PB01. I'll explain everything into detail. But for now, we're just trying to know how much stuff costs, um, how much shortages we have. So there's one thing that we need to know. Most people might use the standard price, but wait. The difference between the standard price and the um, cost price is the cost price is the total of um, the quantity. So let's let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. The standard the cost price is the, the standard price times the quantity. So let's say we have two quantity of two, right? Then you multiply by the standard price, then it gives you the cost price. So you have to select the column. Let me go back for you to understand this. Uh, let me pause right here. Um, go back a bit. Okay, so this is the cost price, and this is the standard price, right? So the cost price is going to be the the quantity times the standard price, which gives you the cost price. So when you are trying to find the total shortages that you, you've already put on order and it's not in yet, you use the column, the, the cost column. And one thing is you need to select the cost column. To find the total, you need to select the cost column. So that's what I did. Then you click on the summation sign right here. That is summation. That's what in statistics we call it the, the sigma sign. So that sigma sign is what you're going to use. You click it. That's the summation sign. Then, so basically, Excel works just like Excel. IWBK, sorry, works just like Excel. There's no so much difference between the Excel and um, and um, what we call it, IWBK. So let's continue. So we're going to click. You select the column. Then that's the total of um, shortages that are ordered currently right now that are not in yet. As you can see, look at the date, summer in 2020, and we are still waiting for them to come in. So now we're going to look at the total shortages for all work orders open. So all work orders open. So right now I'm not going to um, filter. So I'm going to look at everything, whether it came in, whether it's just a work order just opened, whether it came in and we, we, we've consumed it. We just want to know how much it is. And that's what came up. So basically, that is how you see your total shortages um, for both things that are on order and are not yet in, in everything that has come. And, every, and, and you can also do it for all work orders that you have open in a system. You can also set filter to um, just the item that has come in and you've received. You've received and consumed, right? There are so many things you can do in IWBK. You can look for the total shortages for items that came in and you haven't consumed yet. For items that came in you have and you have consumed. For work orders that were, that were just opened and you haven't released yet. You can find the, the, the total value for all of them. Items that, can, that, that are on order but they are not in yet. That means SSA hasn't even received it yet. All right, so basically you can do four things trying to figure out your total shortages. Okay, guys, this is all for today. Don't forget to share it for your other 93 Yankees to find out. Basically, I'm doing all these videos not just for anything but to share knowledge because I'll be out of the army in a couple of months and I don't know what I'm going to use the knowledge for. So I decided to do this video to share the, the, the knowledge. Yeah, basically that's it. Thank you guys for watching.